Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going through some of my pens and reflecting on my current collection and contemplating any new additions I might make this year. I will attempt to create a poll to have some viewers vote on different possible purchases as I look to go up to that next tier in terms of quality and pricing. This will be a bit more of a slower, more relaxing video, hopefully at least. I saw my mango safari and thought I'd clean it out and swap the nib on it. It currently has a 1.1 stub which I never seem to write with. I have a few spare Lamy nibs. I think I have nearly the whole collection now, with extra fine, fine, medium, broad and the stub. Lamy nibs are very easy to change. But if you haven't seen it done before, this is how I do it. Just grab some sticky tape and attach it to the top of the nib. Flip the pen over and slide the nib off. There's not really much to it. Putting another nib on is even easier, just sliding it onto the feed. I'm changing this to a broad, as I very rarely use anything broader than a medium. It will be a nice change. I love the black versions of these Lamy nibs also. I feel they look a lot nicer than the normal stainless steel ones. I can't remember if it came with it or if I bought it, but I've been using this pen with the matching mango ink. It wasn't bad, but just very light, which made it difficult to read on letters I wrote. I will use a spare Z28 converter I've had sitting around to put one of my ink samples in. I've also cleaned out my All Star, which I will fill with Noodler's Air Corp Blue Black. I have a whole bunch of samples to get through, and today I've decided to try Diamine Autumn Oak. While I fill this, I will list some of the pens on my radar for purchase. I won't be able to get all of them this year, but perhaps one or two if I'm lucky. So far my wish list includes the Conklin All-American, Estabrook SD, Pelican M400, Pilot Custom 742, Platinum 3776, and the Sailor 1911. Out of these, the ones I want the most are probably the SD with its adapter for vintage nibs, followed by the Sailor with Pelican being a close third. I'm sure a few of you already own some of these pens, if not all of them, so any advice would be great on where I should be looking. Back to the autumn oak, I didn't think I was going to like this ink, but it gets some lovely shading with the broad nib, I actually don't mind it.
I took some time off making videos over Christmas, but hopefully we'll be producing more this year. I plan on releasing more pen, ink, and philosophy videos. Maybe even some little woodwork projects I've been working on with some mid-century furniture I've bought. As always, thanks for watching, and especially those who subscribe. I will see you all again soon.